the donor speaker from a very generous viewer named Vic who had the misfortune of purchasing a uh, Zenith radio that wasn't packaged correctly and arrived in pieces has arrived here postman dropped it off about 15 minutes ago and uh, I can't tell you if this thing fits the joy it's going to bring me to get this radio back to Thomas Vic thank you so much for your generosity I can't express how much we appreciate this a little dusty uh, we can deal with dust and find a little brush to clean this out uh, I'm gonna run down the other end of the room here. Looks like a just a ticket. No voice coil rub. Fantastic. I think it's physically going to fit. The speaker terminals are on a different side, but we can deal with that. Let's see how it fits in the. Uh, it fits in the hole. Let's see how it fits in the frame here. Well, that's a shame. The front of this thing is in decent condition. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. When you order a radio you've been waiting to get your hands on and it shows up in pieces. I'm going to hang on to this, Vic. Uh, do you want this back? Just let me know. Um, you know, you might get another Zenith that has a broken front, but the rest of the cabinet's all right. Okay, let's see how we do here. Uh, okay, we're going to want the terminals that direction. This is even a little bit lower profile in the frame than the original. I think this is going to be the ticket home. I'm going to put this over here. Figure out what I did with the screws. Oh, come on, Dumas. Oh, there they are. I can't tell you how excited I am. I really, really, really still wish I could get my hands on uh, a source for these speakers. Somebody out there makes them because, well, we've seen them in existence. Uh, on that website somebody you know there's a guy selling them of course he won't answer to us commoners but uh, if I can track down the source oh, it's just my printer if I can track down the source of where these are coming from then we don't have to worry about finding one next time I have to ground one of these speaker terminals. There's only one speaker wire here. Uh, and uh, the other one is ground. So I'm going to put a solder lug under one of these screws so that one side of the speaker is grounded. But first thing I want to do is make sure that everything is going to fit. power lead out of the way here. The moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, look at that. Just like factory. Plenty of clearance around the electronics. I have access to the speaker terminals. No, Alexa, I wasn't talking to you. Fantastic. That's it. Thomas, your radio will be on the way shortly. Okay, I'm going to uh, get a solder lug, get a ground on this speaker, come up with a connector for the pin that's on there because I have a tab for his original speaker. So we're going to change that out to something that will work with this set. 
And then we'll do a final power up and uh, get this okay. thing back to Thomas. We're ready to box this thing up and send it back to Thomas so he can put this in his 47 Chevy. Again, thank you to Vic, without whom this wouldn't have been possible, at least not today. Up from the field, what a five of the you got a hundred and fifty investments that you have. He is now and marks us left at this fifty miles with your first light wing gun across the world. 88% gave to a charity in 2020. 88%. So freaking noisy in here. The prices were four scared to death. There was a record. They have some rules. There's that. There's out there. You and me are being an alcoholic. Get to the joint by the door. The teacher and the book. They were right. Just the next somebody else. And this is a horrible infliction, an infliction that exists in relatively free countries that are becoming... Even along the Jersey Coast throughout, it's now looking more and more like uh, even the Jersey Shore will stay dry tonight. We'll see a low of 37 in the city, near 30 inland. Now, some pictures of uh, what this kind of looked like when it got here. The rubber on the front, uh, he said he has a source for that from the guy who does door seals and window seals for those antique cars. When it came in, there was no back on the set. So we cobble fab something together for him. It's only thin aluminum, but it'll keep the RF noise out of the radio, keep the ignition noise out, so on and so forth. And uh, we uh, glass beaded the case to get down below the rust. So even though there's still some pitting there, Thomas, that was glass beaded right down to bare metal. And then primer, a heavy coat of primer went over it. So even though it's pitted, there's no rust underneath that paint. Whoop. I knocked the button out here. There's no rust underneath the paint. Uh, we made sure that everything was all glass beaded and then we put a good coat of primer and a couple coats of paint on it so that uh, hopefully you won't have any more rust issues. The knobs are in the bag, safely tucked away. Uh, we actually had some extra screws here from the speaker that uh, Vic donated us. They actually fit the radio so only uh, I think there's only, well, I don't think these two screws, holes actually had screws in them. I don't see any threads in the sheet metal, so I think we have a full complement of screws in there now. The speaker he donated. You've got a fuse, a solid state vibrator, good tubes, all new capacitors. So that's it. We're going to box this up. We're going to get it back to uh, Thomas. And, uh, Hopefully he'll send us some more pictures when the radio gets installed. He said he has a source for everything, all the hardware to mount the radio in, so that's good. I'm the radio mechanic. We're going to uh, send this puppy down the road and uh, move on. I'll be able to sleep at night now knowing this thing's uh, back with its owner. See you soon.